Hi there, Robin here from Expert Island, and today we're going to be talking about the Gemini wireless microphone systems, both the 6200 and the 2M. Uh, these also come in lavalier headset combo packs, uh, but for today's video we're going to focus on the handhelds and the differences between these two models. Now this is a revisit video from one I did over a year ago or thereabouts. Uh, the idea is, is to well cover all the features and the comparisons between the two. So what do we have? Well, first of all, this is important from now on is to know that your microphone is in the licensed new spectrum for microphones, which means it's under the 600 megahertz range, which the uh, O2M and the 6200M both are. So that's big. The primary difference when you look at the two microphones uh, is for, I can't tell the difference on the capsules. I'll be straight up with that. That's one of the things there, and I think they're exactly the same. It's going to be the rest of the actual unit. These are fixed UHF channels. So that means in this particular case, it's a combo pack. So you're gonna get two frequencies. Each one has its own and it's locked in on the receiver. This one here has a grand total of 400. There's 20 groups. Inside of each group, there's 20 channels. Why so many, you say? Well, if you're not using it just for home use, where you're going to have maybe a pair of microphones for karaoke or you're going out and about, uh, that's going to be a big difference. If I needed four microphones or six microphones or more, I can stack these up and put them all on their own channel. Big, big plus. Now, at the same time as saying that, uh, one of the other big features of having the 6200 versus the O2 uh, is going to be what's going on on the back side. This one here only has one option. It's a quarter inch output on the back. It's mic level, which is going to be kind of standard in that realm. And in this price range, which is under $100 US, uh, that's pretty straightforward. You're going to have gain controls on the front of the unit, power button, uh, two antennas, and that one output. Now it does run off a 12 volt power supply, which is of course included but this is the big thing. So you're gonna have a cable that resembles this. Now that's fine if you're just gonna plug it into a PA system or maybe you have a small controller or you have just a uh, single karaoke type mixing system which has a microphone input that's a quarter inch. Uh, if it's anything else like a regular mixer, that's not gonna cut it. You're not gonna be able to plug that into a regular mixer. You're going to need to get either an adapter or a different cable for a mixer. Uh, that also applies to larger controllers. So if you have a uh, bigger Denon or a bigger Pioneer unit that requires what they call an XLR cable, then you'll have to go get a cable like this. Now, this cable here has an XLR for the controller mixing board here, and it has a quarter inch on this end. This quarter inch will go in the back here, and then this will plug in like any standard microphone on a mixing board. So even though it's not a corded mic, uh, you do have to treat the connection between the receiver and the mixing board as if it was an actual microphone. So that's very important. So cable included, optional cable to get. Now you can also get an adapter, but adapters are usually for that. It's a last minute, I need to adapt it to something. So uh, I don't like having things like this sticking in the back unless it's absolutely necessary, maybe for one job or something like that. Uh, what's going on here is it allows me to plug a regular XLR cable into it and off we go. Uh, in this case, a cable like this is always from the tip to the back. So it's a male quarter inch to an XLR female connection. Sorry, male connection, so male to male in this case. There you go. Anyways. That is that. Uh, range is very important. The range on these guys here are up to 150 feet. That's in a cornfield, by the way. So if you're indoors, it's gonna be less and less. Uh, but normally, if it's in a house, there's nowhere in the house you can't go with this microphone and it's still not work, you'll probably get outside. Uh, in a hall, is the same thing. You should be able to travel the entire showroom floor or hall floor with this microphone and you'll be fine. Now, batteries inside, double A. There's a door that holds that down in place. It's not a, it's not, it doesn't snap or anything, which is important. This guy here just slides on top of it. Off you go. Uh, on off switch, there's two positions. There's the middle position, which is basically mute. And then the top, which is on. Uh, it's a capsulated microphone. So that means I can unscrew the body from the microphone itself, just like that. 
Uh, now, this uses a standard Shure format to it, so it's not like you're stealing anything from anybody. It's just how you do get a universal. A uh, tire on a car is round. You can buy different brand tires for your rims. Same thing applies to this. You can buy other capsules if you want to improve or upgrade this. Uh, so that screws right back on there. And the reason why it's capsulated is because this guy does not have any openings to this guy. So it means all the noise that's here, or sorry, here, doesn't get transferred as much to the top. Uh, some of the cheaper units or generic units, that's not the case. Even if it looks the same, you unscrew it, it's hollow, it's all soldered inside, it's, it's just the way it is. So that's what's going on. So in the price point, it's a very good microphone. Gemini is a very big company and they do huge amount of volume. So they do put a really good package together and the manufacturers who do the final work for them do a pretty good job because, well, they're a big customer. So you'll be real happy with a system like that, especially if you're looking for karaoke or you just need something where no other wireless is being used. So there you go. Now, you want better. Better is gonna be the UHF 6200M. Now, right off the hop, range. We're gonna go from 150 feet in a cornfield to 250 feet in a cornfield, or 240 to be exact. Uh, I've used this personally uh, at a venue in a park and I was so far gone from the actual system I couldn't see where the signal was coming from. I was wrapped around a building and it was still working no problem. This is a big kind of city hall type building. So big, big bonus. Now, everything internally applies except now the actual display has more options on it because now we actually can change the channel and the frequencies. Uh, they do have a sync up which makes it a little easier and faster to work. So that makes this unit a little bit more convenient. And like I said, if you need more than two or a large combination of things, this is a better way to go. Now, if you are gonna use it for a heavy commercial application or rentals or stuff like that, yes, for sure, you can always spend more money. You know, like I said, less than a hundred bucks, about $200 for this unit. Uh, if you're going to take responsibility for it and you're gonna maintain and, and own it, this is a great system to buy. Now, on the back here, we now have some upgrades. Uh, instead of just having that one quarter inch, ex, uh, quarter inch output in the back, we now have two XLR outputs on the outside. So if I'm hooking this up to a uh, controller, I now can hook it up on both sides to two mic inputs or if I'm hooking up to a mixing board, of course, the same thing. I get to use these mics independently from each other, allows me to have a lot more control. I can turn them up and down, no worries. I can leave a mic on, on a table if it's a wedding, uh, at the head table, and I can turn it up and down whenever I need to and they just pick it up and use it and the job is done. Now, added bonus to the back of this guy is I'm gonna unplug the power cord there's a switch right in the middle of the unit that says mic and line. I can literally turn this quarter inch into a line input. So if I do need to plug this into something and the only thing available is a line input, I can just switch that to line and it's now gonna act as a line output instead of a microphone output, which is a big, big plus because occasionally you're gonna run into situations where that's the best way to do it because of lack of options. So very important, that's there for you. Same thing, the microphones are set up exactly the same way and that's like I said, I think they're all interchangeable when it comes to this portion here. They sound great. Uh, the, the dynamics of the microphone is really good. Uh, feedback will be minimal as long as you make sure speaker placement and everything else is good and all the other equipment is set up fine. Um, is it as good as a corded mic? I don't think any cordless mic is as good as, uh, any cordless mic is as good as any corded mic. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Are they good? I think you'd have to spend at least two and a half to three times the money before you get something that's noticeable. So yes, you can spend four or $500 on this. If you get a combo set, that price will probably get you up to six to $700. Uh, and then you're gonna start noticing a difference. Uh, just remember how you're using it because at the same time, you wanna have a product that you can afford for it to break. Think of it as a remote control on your TV. You don't want the TV to break, but because the remote control might get dropped a lot of times, you may have to replace it eventually. Same thing occurs with this. If you're not the person who's handling it all the time and accidents do happen, anybody can drop it. But if this is getting passed around a lot or it's being used by people who are drinking, maybe? Nah, I'm not saying, it could happen. Uh, they tend to get broken. Doesn't matter how much money you throw at it, it'll happen. So with Gemini, it's the only consumer pro audio brand that I know of 
that you can order replacement actual handheld microphones from. Uh, it's not like you're, you're not pulling teeth from these people. It's an available program. They purposely buy replaceable stock for their handhelds, for both models. So not just the 6200, you can also do that with the um, Zero 2M. So that's a, a big plus there. Um, that covers everything on these two guys. Like I said, feature-wise, auto sync, 400 channels. If you're looking for a system that you need to put in, let's say a church, you need to have six microphones, really a good way to go. If you're looking for a top-end karaoke microphone and you want all the extra bells and whistles, this is really good. Uh, if you're looking for a good karaoke microphone, this is a good way to go. Uh, talking and singing works on both of them, no problem. So, all right, I think that pretty much covers everything on these two guys. Like I said, I enjoy using them. Uh, I, they haven't uh, let me down yet. Uh, they work and install quickly. Uh, they're available virtually anywhere you like to shop. Uh, we'll put links down below for you, so this way you can go through our, you know, our affiliate channel on Amazon in the states, or you can find our links for our showroom here in Canada. So, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Remember, now we have at least three times a week a Q and A show going on, so uh, that's where we're answering most of the questions. I bring all those up on those uh, particular shows. So uh, subscribe to our channel. This way you find out when the next time, especially if you ask a question, hit the bell. So this way you'll know when I actually answered it and you'll be able to watch the Q&As. So there you go. Hopefully you like it and you give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. That's real important. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.